Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we are going to discuss about PCI, Pavement Condition Index, and Drainage System in Jalan Parit, Nipah Tengah, Parit Raja. So, before we are going to start, I really hope Dr. Adri and all of my friends stay healthy and hashtag stay at home. Let's start our introduction of project task. This study was focusing on the existing pavement and drainage system in Jalan Parit, Nipah Tengah, Parit Raja. There are two scope investigation in our project. Firstly, we are going to identify, classify, and rate the pavement condition by using the PCI survey. Two, we are going to identify and investigate the drainage system along with the recommendation to upgrade it. Let's check out our location. In our project, we are using data collection method. There are two types of data collection method. First, quantitative data collection. Second, quantitative data collection. This is show the workflow of quantitative collection of data. For quantitative method, we apply it by taking the data by using the visual survey and read it by PCI, Pavement Condition Index. For qualitative method, we apply it at drainage system. This show is the workflow of qualitative method. As uh, my summary, we can find in this project type of damage has seed, firstly degradation, um, edge cracking, edge drop off, longitudinal cracking, elevator cracking, and shoving. Um, we can simple we can simplify uh, this. All type can be caused from poor, uh, poor subgrade or when the construction road, maybe when the when they are checking, there is fill at there. Continue the first one type of image. Firstly, depression. Depression. Uh, the meaning of depression is uh, localized, where the level lower than surrounding area or deformation that occurs for vehicle vehicle wheel is in part. The possible of this, the possible cause of this type is by fail subgrade or construction road and the load from vehicle wheel falls on the road. The second one is edge cracking. Edge cracking are crescent shape of fairly continuous crack that travel along pavement edge. Um, how it can be. It is from poor drainage condition and maybe less of support at pavement, pavement edge. Then the third one type of damage is edge drop off. Edge drop off. Edge drop off is the elevation difference between traffic lane and outer shoulder. Um, the possible cause is maybe from inadequate pavement width or resurfing of pavement without resurfing of shoulder. Okay, we continue the next of type of damage, which is longitudinal cracking. What is longitudinal cracking? Uh, longitudinal cracking are cracks usually straight and parallel to the center line or lay down direction and situated at middle of lane. Um, the cause is from reflection of shrink case, shrink cache cracks and poorly constructed paving link in bituminous surfacing. Um, the next type of damage we can find in this project, which is elevated cracking. Elevated cracking is a load associated structural failure and it is often often start in the wheel part as long as the cracking and end up as elevated cracking after several distress. This failure can be due to weakness in the surface base or upgrade, or a surface base is too thin, or maybe poor drainage, or combination of all of these three. The last but not least, uh, we can find uh, in this project of this road, which is shoving. What is shoving? Shoving we can describe as formation of ripple across a pavement. It is occurs at several horizontal locations with displacement of traffic. I will explain about how do we get our pavement condition level and maintenance activity needed for each sample using this method. Okay, from the collected data, we need to determine the distress density and deduct value. We get the density by calculating using formula, while the deduct value we need to refer from the graph of deduct value based on the type of damage and the level. Second is find the maximum allowable number of deduct, which is M. So the HDV is 10 for highest deduct value we get from this sample. As we get the value, uh, arrange the deduct value in descending order. Then choose 8 value from all the deduct value we get. Why 8? Because our M is 8. So in this case, in this example, 
all of our deduct value is selected okay next is finding the maximum correct deduct value after we select our deduct value that is greater than 2 uh, so in this case we select deduct value greater than 2 because it is a surfaced root if it is air fields or unsurfaced root we need to choose the deduct value that is greater than 5 okay, continue we get our Q is equal to 4 and our total deduct value is equal to 40 as we referring to if figure B45 our CDV is 24 then we put our data in table that we can find the maximum CDV which is uh, we get 36 okay next step is uh, determine the parameter condition index using formula 100 minus 2 maximum CDV we get our PCI value is 74 uh, next is refer to PCI rating scale to determine our payment condition level level of service and maintenance activity needed for this 100 sample as in this example we get that our PCI rating is in satisfactory condition with the level of service is B and maintenance needed is preventive maintenance Today, I want to explain about bills of quantity or BQ of our project. The first step to do BQ is to determine the price of startup work, which means insurance that cover workers and machinery. Then, list the work that needs to be done on site along with the price of materials, machinery, and labor too. Okay, for the first BQ of station 1, 2, 3, and 5, we get 76,230 ringgit. For second BQ of station 4, we get 128,940. Second BQ is higher than the first one because there is the additional works for rehabilitation maintenance. Two recommendations for this survey. First of all, there are two levels of services in this survey. First, level of service B and level of service C. For the level of service B, uh, it categorized as satisfactory condition, which is this, which means this is condition uh, required preventive maintenance to this to resolve the problem on the road. For this condition, station one, station two, station three need preventive maintenance to prepare the road. The procedure in preventive maintenance we can apply with the minister that code on the cracker road or distress surfaces and then asphaltic concrete wearing course apply on it. This procedures uh, we follow with the compaction we use the vibrating roller and also pneumatic roller and then for the level of service C which is the road in the fair condition we they need rehabilitation for the maintenance activity. For this uh, maintenance activity, we apply on station 4 and station 5, which is uh, in station 4 and station 5, they got a huge number of distress, a serious problem of distress. And then, to, to apply the maintenance, first we do the test on site, which is to get the CBR number and to get the for CBR and the sleep analysis. And then, put the new binder cost on the uh, road and then apply the code which is same like the uh, level of service B and then uh, for other recommendation we recommend to apply hot mix asphalt which is very good on the cracker surface that size less than one and a half inches wide and then for this uh, for this recommendation because we prefer this recommendation because it easier and fast to solve the problem on the small size and then soil other recommendation that we recommend is soil study improvement which is for the this situation for our survey we can know that the soil in the fight which is is a, a pit soil which is the very low stability of soil so engineers should take serious on how to tackle the problem 
and to prove the condition of road at the Jalan Pak Bukah Tengah. And lastly, uh, users of road and authorities should be cooperate to uh, to to solve the problem of road because the distress. The then the users should inform to the authorities as soon as possible as the authorities can take action immediately to improve our surrounding and be good to our society. That's all. Thank you. In this study, there are several types of defect has been found in 100 meter of the land park Nipah Tengah Paya Raja. The defect or damage are depression, edge cracking, edge drop off, longitudinal cracking, alligator cracking and shoving. The rate of PCI in station 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are 74, 74, 51, 61 and 66. There are two levels of service required to be done for this road investigation. The level of service B for station 1, 2 and 3 which is need to preservative maintenance while level of service C for station 4 and 5 need rehabilitation maintenance. BQ, the total of bill of quantity is 76,230 ringgit for station 1, 2, 3 and 5. And for the station 4 is 128,000 940 ringgit, which is the highest one. Session 4 has the highest cost as the PCI rating result is the lowest and there is some additional work for rehabilitation maintenance. For the next system, as the natural open channel, the flow of water are smooth and reasonable, clean from garbage and plant that cause locking. If the road user report to the Authorities about this issue and the authorities take the relevant action in between, it will help to improve the safe of road for user. In other words, it may reduce the probability for the accident case happen. That's all from us. Thank you.